washi. Just sit there. You threw everything off. your lawn you know you can put that on your side if you're saying he wants to see so put it around your waist and then just put the front at the front sorry put the actual holder at the front yeah and then he can sit on your side like as if you were holding him right yeah yeah <laughs> 13 kilos. <laughs> okay, while the boys are mowing the lawn, these are my vacuum packs. This one's unvacuumed. But these are my vacuum packs of all Mussy's clothes. And this is where I store them and how I store them. And this is a great idea I got from YouTube to just preserve your baby's clothes. Obviously, you know, hopefully if you're planning more kids, I'm going to reuse. So this is a great way to preserve the clothes so that they don't perish. You put them in vacuum packs. So now I'm going to go through the six months and I've put them, stacked them in age. So this is a newborn sort of two to three and then in here would be up to six months type thing or from six months which is what uh, my uh, sister-in-law Purdy needs because Jara and Purdy have had a baby boy which I showed in a vlog so they need a few things and I was like hello don't shop look at this shop so we're gonna pack this up So I did get a few questions if my uh, uh, ex-boutique manager Tara was on The Bachelor, Bachelor and Bachelor in Paradise, which is on right now in Australia. Yes, she is. That is my old manager Tara. She's so funny. She is so funny. That is 100% her. Like she is just so real and so down to earth and totally, that's so Tara. So she got mussy that Adidas tracksuit when he was, well, when he was born. I think that's three months, three, three, three to six months. So yes, that is Tara on The Bachelor. I did get a couple of questions because she once did a video a long time ago and a subby asked me on Facebook. It is Tara. Okay, so I took out of four of them, uh, kind of all the things that Jara and Purdy want. And I just vacuum this back up. I can, however, hear a leak. It's not good. I can hear a leak somewhere. Biscuit. Okay, biscuit. Can you hear him wanting a biscuit? Excuse me. Did you say hi, guys? Okay, you can have a biscuit. Yeah. Let me just get it. Are you going to help me? Alright. Okay. Alright. That's a good job. So I've got heaps of new like discipline tricks for Mussy. 
and mum and I have been sort of researching and seeing what works for us. But at the moment, he doesn't have a D-U-M-M-Y during the day. Like, he won't walk around the house or have it. He only has it to sleep or if he's in the car um, and he's really fussy in the car seat, which he's usually not, um, he can have one in the car seat. But now he realizes that he has it when he sleeps. So he continuously goes to the bottom of the stairs and asks to rest. Right now I'm making his room up. So his bed has no linen on it. Ah! No throwing. Kindy says no throwing. And he wanted his D-U-M-M-Y so he can oh, no. have no linen on his cot. You wanted to sleep. Bunny. Oh, you want bunny as well? Okay. You can have a, a rest then. Here you go, resting. Go in your bed. Okay, thank you. That's where you have, that's where, you, oh, you want your book? Okay. That's where you have your dummy. Nowhere else. Okay, enjoy that rest. I am going to frame Tara's present, the Adidas tracky with Mussy. You can get them personalised. I can find out from her where she got it done. But you, I know you can get them done. I am finding it super hard to keep vlogging. I literally feel like, look, I'm like so white. I'm so white I blend in with the background. I'm finding it hard to keep vlogging. I'm super weak. Mussy's super weak and he's so whingy. Gastro is so bad for babies. They just lose all the nutrients when they're sick like this. To be honest, Vlogging is amazing because I can show you, you know, bits and pieces of our life. You've got to remember it's 15 to 20 minutes of my life, my entire day. It's ridiculous. And I remember I heard Erin saying this a while ago, Erin Williams. She's a mommy vlogger. She's amazing. Hi, babe. And she was like, this is 20 minutes of my life. I have two kids. There is so much more to the day, which it's so true. There's so much more that happens or so much you know, more to your day, more to what you do. And I don't know, there's part of me that just, I love vlogging, but it's bittersweet because so many people, so many people enjoy watching or enjoy seeing you know a snippet of your life but then you know it's it's difficult as a youtuber to continuously hear the criticism and you guys you know there's there's people out there who are like you put your life out there you deserve you know not deserve you're allowed people are allowed to have their opinions and this and that true that is so true you are if you don't look, if you don't like how I look in a pair of pants, then you can say that, that's fine. But if you call me ugly and fat in those pair of pants, I'm gonna delete and block you. If you insult me or insult my life or my child or my husband or anything, I'm gonna delete and block you as, as exactly you guys would if it was the same thing to you. So that's the bottom line. Insult me and it's gone. You call me a boring, you know, a boring Stedford housewife or a bored housewife that just shops, bye. Firstly, that is just so stereotypically bullshit because housewives are unbelievable. Stay-at-home moms are unbelievable people. They raise champions. Remember that. Raising your children as stay-at-home mom isn't a stay-at-home mom as it used to be in the 40s or 50s. They are heroes and people just go straight off of the first thing you say. Like when I said California casual, when I was talking about my wardrobe. Firstly, 
to explain that California casual don't come for that saying someone uh, what was her name SK style you totally got angry because I said that and you're from Sydney yes we don't dress casual in Sydney compared to other states around Australia we're very dressy and we do dress up I live in a beachy area so we're a lot more beachy but California casual is another stereotypical way of saying like chic casual it is street casual don't put California casual down thank you very much those people are so chic over there and it's just an urban saying you know jeans sneakers a blouse a hoodie something cool like it's just more of a relaxed kind of cafe chill street vibe that sort of thing and everybody just kind of came for me like oh my god we're not casual that's that's not it at all and you shouldn't really put that down because there's nothing wrong with being california casual so there's some like bullshit comments that throw away they get deleted probably before anyone sees them we have complete filters that just get modification just any crap so don't just be like saying oh you put yourself out there so you can you can have thick skin bullshit no one has thick skin to be insulted no one so at this point i just kind of like uh when you put your whole life out there versus a sit down video which is so edited it's just yeah sometimes you just get over it I know when my child's woken up for a nap because he throws everything out of his cot. Plane. Oh, insects. He's got a bird. Bird. Yep. absolutely hilarious so as we were walking out um Massey's going to my mother-in-law's house and as we we're walking out Massey wanted his kindy backpack and I said how about you wear your monkey backpack he has his monkey backpack <laughs> on right now he's sitting on top of it what does a monkey do eat it, it, can you see it like behind oh, his head? No. It will look like a pillow because it's uh, wait until it gets out of the car. It's so hilarious. Oh my gosh. Doing a couple of errands and I have to do a few little business things with hubby. I have to get something for him and I have to come back. So my mother-in-law is taking Mussy because Jill's is going to see my little nephew Scout tomorrow. And so she doesn't really want to be around Mussy who's been sick with gastro, which is a very good decision as a grandma because it is highly contagious and Scouty is only four weeks old. Oh, he's so cute! This way. This way. Oh, Look at this. Nice. Look at this. <gasps> cool backpack, guys. Cool backpack knocking. Hello, darling. 
Hi. I just oh, I just had to call you because I just started pissing myself laughing. Because I just you? I was just I'm just doing errands and I was just walking back from the post office and I like got in the car. I just got in the car and I'm like, oh like I literally feel like I have no energy. There's no, like I said, there's no nutrients in my body. Like I just feel, you feel sick from being sick, right? <clears throat> and I just start pissing myself laughing, thinking, what? God, imagine eating a tofu Tokyo banana blossom right now. <laughs> oh, my God, that makes me good. See? I don't think I could ever eat them again. I Oh. I can't. I didn't even have gastro. I just had food poisoning. But I oh. swear to God, I'm just, I'm like up here, and the thought of like, oh, like in the top of my throat right now, just saying that. Like I feel like gagging. Are we never gonna eat banana blossom again? I don't think so. But nothing was wrong with the food. It's just, oh. Are you on your own or are you with your son? This is um, one of my very good friends, Frankie. Who uh, is also our master painter. He's a master painter. He's had a few different lives. He used to be a Slovenian supermodel. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true. It's very true. It's very true. Anyway, he's our master painter and he does yeah, all of our properties. First. He's our very good friend first, but he does all our properties, so he painted it. She came here to ask for a job and I told her no. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, he said we don't hire customers. Oh okay. But we do marry them. <laughs> That's uh... I give you a five for that too. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, I'm gonna end today's vlog here. Everyone gets up. Look how white I am. I'm as white as a sheep. I will see you in tomorrow's vlog. Bye.